Yo, what's up guys? Hey, and it's Cold Legacy Kennels coming back to you for another video. So, I just want to first and foremost say welcome and thank you for watching. Oh, shoot. I got my green screen on. Hold on. Alright, that's better. So, again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. This video, I want to talk about what color bully do you want? Stay tuned. Right after this, I'm about to tell you what's about to go down. Yo, welcome. Thank you for tuning in again. Uh, can't say that enough. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification because I'm about to drop some info on y'all regularly you know what i'm saying it's, it's about to come full force so make sure you stay you know stay tuned hit that bell notification let you know when i drop something so you'll be aware of it i'm watching y'all you know what I'm make sure y'all watch me i appreciate it hey the numbers gonna get there when they get there but yeah back to the topic of the day what color bully do you want so if i come to you and say all right what color bully do you want? And you give me a color that's right and a wrong way to answer. Your first answer should be, I want structure and quality, then I would choose the color. You always wanna make sure you get a foundation of good and having to build off the good instead of having to build off the color. You can find the colors. The color's gonna come. People out here putting out colors left and right. But what is the, the foundation of that structure, that quality, is what you're putting in on? What are you doing for that? Are you making sure that you're putting in good quality and structure into your dogs? Or are you just putting in the color that you want for your dogs? So for me, yeah, we all got our favorite colors. But I want to make sure that I put out the structure and then the color will come. That is how I'm running my program. If you're going to put out the structure and the, and the quality, then your color will follow through in your breedings or whatever you do. And if it's not a particular dog that you have, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, if you breed, you'll get that color. You don't have to go outside the yard to really find particular colors, especially when you're dealing with, you know what I'm saying, lighter color tries you're dealing with a chocolate try lilac try you know what I'm those you're gonna get those and all all you're gonna get you a regular try out of those colors they 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 are you know what I'm saying in abundance when you get those colors so uh for me what i like you know what i'm saying i i, I like tries but i like i like blues i think blues better and you know rocco is a brindle and I never really liked the brindle until I really got into the dog game and seen up close and personal what a brindle entails. You know what I'm saying? I love the brindle now. So, as you see, Rocco was turned into a beast. I love him. Hey, he's going he's gonna to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? And he's only getting bigger. He's definitely getting bigger. So, yeah, brindle. Uh, do I like the Merle? I like the way it looks. But like I said on my on, on my previous videos, I can't have that on my yard because I want to do something for quality. That Merle color is a designer color. There's nothing that, you know what I'm saying, is appeasing to being a breeder of the bully world and have that Merle on your yard. That that that's not that's not what you want on your yard if that's what you're trying to do. To breed for a Merle is breeding for a designer, and that means you're not taking the breeding seriously. And I know they say, you know, it doesn't mean they're going to have the defects. No, they don't, but the chances are higher. So, you know, you, you want to breed to the standard of the, the, the breed itself. You don't want to just add something that really doesn't play a factor in, in moving forward because technically you're stepping back. And trying to, you know what I'm saying, rework and engineer a way to try to get these Merle colors better. So, it was just a short video, man. Like, don't say you want 
a color first. So you want that structure, you want that quality. You want, you know what I'm saying, that girth, that, that bone, that head, you know what I'm saying, on, on the dog, that's what you're looking for because color will come. It's a lot easier to get color than it is to get structure and the standard of a bullet. So if you can get the structure first, then you get your color. That's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And I just want to give y'all that quick video. Yeah. And also show y'all what I did, you know what I'm saying, with the green screen. Because when I start doing my videos now, this is particularly what I'm going to be using if I'm not showing dogs and everything. If I'm putting out some knowledge, you know what I'm saying, a little info here, a little tip there. This is what I'm going to be doing. I want to do, I want to get better for you guys. So again, appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you smash that bell notification, hit the like button. Hey, make sure you subscribe, stay tuned to the videos. And when you hit that bell notification, go to all instead of personalized because it might not give you everything. So make sure you click on all when you hit that bell notification. So this was a quick short video. Thank you again. Cold Legs to Kennels, out.